Hey, what's going on, y'all? Just Tania B here with Let's Be Candid. So today I just wanted to talk about, man, she had the right to leave, okay? My, my ex-girlfriends, they had the right to leave me because I didn't know how to act right, okay? I was being jealous. I was being manipulative. I was being super insecure. I was being, what else I was being? Judgmental. I was being an asshole, okay? Of course, not all the time. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I had my sweet moments. Of course, I had my, my loving ways, my kind ways, and being gentle and stuff like that. However, there were more than one occasions where my emotions, I could not control them, okay? And I'm so glad that my girlfriend left me. I really am. Because, you know why? Because... I did not know how to control myself. I did not know how to control my emotions. I did not know how to properly, in a, in a kind way, to express my feelings. To tell them how I'm feeling without blaming, without name calling, without feeling like they were the ones doing something wrong, which is causing me to act a certain way. And I'll keep it real. Sometimes it felt like I had some type of some demonic possession on me. Why? Because I'll go from zero to 100 real quick. And when I'm going through these motions, it's like a totally different person, a totally different being emerged from, from my body. I know it may sound crazy, but I do believe that things can be like thought forms. I do believe that demonic possession or whatever, you know, can be in some type of thought forms um, or like entities can attach to you when you are feeling and going through experiences of like grief or sorrow or or depression and stuff like that is like entities can feed off of that. And because I was going through that for for months and years, it was my energy was was open because I really wasn't doing so much of my, my spiritual work. And it sucked. It sucked. Because I never wanted to act the way that I did. Okay? But regardless of how I wanted to treat my lover, even though it was very difficult for me to act right, I knew deep in my heart, because it was difficult for me to act right, that she did the right thing when she left my ass. Straight up. Why do you want to be with somebody who cannot control themselves? Why do you want to be with somebody who is constantly blaming you? Why do you want to be with somebody who is constantly nagging? Why do you want to be with somebody if you're unhappy? Why? I didn't have the strength to leave my girlfriend. But I'm glad, I'm so glad that she found that inner strength to leave me she did the right thing to leave and if you're watching this and and you are like me who is it's hard for you to control your emotions but you, you feel like you, you can't let go of your relationship i'm telling you man like you gotta dig deep and leave i know it's difficult because it was hard for me to leave i only left like two of my relationships but it's it's hard and if you are watching this and you're the one who is possibly on the receiver end where your, your boo is being the aggressor, please find it and please find the strength. Please find the strength to leave. Because nine times out of ten, it's not going to get better. No matter how hard they say they change. People can change. I, I, I truly feel in my heart that I have changed, which, which is why I'm doing these videos in the first place. To be of support for other people who have been in my position or who may be still in, their, in my position that I was in. It's okay to leave. Listen to your intuition. If you don't listen to that inner, your inner guidance and it told you to get out of there, now, like, you, you are really putting yourself in, un, in an unnecessary process. You're putting yourself in unnecessary hell. It's not going to get better. 
I'm not trying to, I, I'm, I'm a very positive person, okay? But when it comes to where you're constantly seeing over and over and over again, the person is showing you who they are. Leave. It ain't going to get better, baby girl. It's not. But it will get better once you make that choice to love yourself enough to let go. It's not going to be easy, especially when you really care about that person. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard. You're going to cry. You, I, well, I'm not going to say you are, but uh, most likely, yes, when you really are in those emotions, it's going to be hurtful. But you will get through it. You really will. Get yourself that support system. And merge yourself in, in your passion. Begin to find yourself again. Just keep loving on yourself. And if you did leave that relationship, I'm so proud of you. I really am. And if you find this difficult, I hope that I can just, just send some love and some strength and some encouragement your way. Oh yeah, you all, I'm about to hop off of this video. Definitely hit that like button if you like it. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with my videos on this topic of lesbian domestic violence. Because it's, it's a topic that needs to be spoken about. It really is. And you can also find my book. I did write a book to things I learned about being a lesbian domestic violent. Uh, <laughs> like I said, it's so fast. 10 things I learned about being a lesbian domestic abuser. That's on Amazon right now. You can find it. All right, you all, leave some comments and questions, anything like that. And if I can answer them, I will. All right, y'all, remember to be kind to yourself. I love you. Keep loving yourself. Peace.